Greetings to my team of 144 all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 10212019. 77 is coming through. With the energy over the last few days, many people are feeling the releasing, the easing up. Best word I could think of for these last few days of intense energy waves is convoluted. Many people are feeling this convoluted. Energy is coming from the left to the right, up to the down, down to the up, all over the place. Many people are feeling these energies of inconsistency and duality coming in strongly now. But as these energies are dissipating and as we travel through these final portals, the 1111, the 1212, and the 1221, what we call the silver and the gold gateways or portals, you should feel these energies easing up, these intense energies. So hang in there, brothers and sisters of the light. We are almost at the final destination of this new earth manifestation. Now today, with these sacred rays coming in, it was a beautiful day here as I went for, for a nature hike today. The sun was shining brightly. The sacred smells of the forest with the leaves falling and the wing nation join me today what we call the ghost of the forest or of the woods the sacred pileated woodpecker and the divine blue jay the blue ray jay came to me and it was 73 degrees today as i went through this hike so many synchronicities coming through the field today let us know what you're experiencing in the comments below so today, being 101, 101, and the Mayan calendar, the meditation today, we're going to call upon the energies and the awareness of the Ascended Master, the Chohan, of the Brotherhood, the white, Great White Brotherhood, the First Ray, El Moria. And El Moria is of the blue, white, diamond light, coming directly from the will of the great spirit of God's will. So as we relax our body and sit with a gently erect spine, becoming still in body, mind, and spirit. So we take a deep breath in the nose, deep into the lower dantian, into the belly, filling the cauldron, the sacred belly, with the heavenly chi, the sacred energy of divine source. And as we exhale, we release all conflict, all negative thoughts, all negative emotions, releasing these false energies. Then take several deep breaths through the nose into the belly and then exhale through the nose. And you could see this negativity as black smoke releasing out through the nose. And as you breathe in the heavenly chi, you can see the sacred yellow gold energy Filling the lower dantian, the belly, with its holy life, holy light, and sacred energy. And as we become totally relaxed, totally still in this energy, we call upon the sacred light of El Moria, the first ray of the seven rays of the ascended masters, the sacred Chohans, and see body being filled with this blue-white diamond light. And we call on El Moria and say to ourself out loud, El Moria, activate the divine blueprint and fill this blue-white diamond light, activating all strands of DNA in the vessel, in the universe, in the holy sacred vessel, the rainbow bridge, the sacred avatar. Activate the 12-strand crystalline DNA of the diamond light, activating all 144 codes in every strand of DNA of the ascension body into 5D and beyond as we rise up, rise up, rise up, raising the lower 3D frequency of the earthly energies into the heart center, the middle dantian. You could see this as an emerald green in the center of the vessel, the center of the universe. And we breathe in, we bring the heavenly energies down through the crown into the heart center, merging heaven and earth. On earth as it is in heaven, we manifest into this realm our highest light, our highest code, our highest love to assist all life and all humanity to ascend to the highest peak, to the holiest temple, to the sacred temple within, the kingdom of heaven within. 
We go through and through and through these energies as we navigate through the labyrinth of life to return to source to the great mystery as we journey within through the void into the stillness and then beyond that into the pure clear light of bliss and as we sit with these clear energies these pure blissful energies we anchor deep into the grid into the heart of gaia into the crystalline core of mother earth rising up to the highest of highs the holiest of holies as we activate the seven rays through our rainbow bridge the sacred vessel of the human body you could sit with this energy for a while pause this video and just let that energy let that sacred light vibrate through the vessel activating every cell every atom every strand of dna as every code is being upgraded to the heavenly 5d code of 144 today's first transmission the first update from our beloved sister of the light Rhea aurora athena ash the new galactic update dear ones there has been a lot of interference in your reality that is playing out in your now timeline as the continuation of higher 13d light codes continue to integrate activate and upgrade your physical avatars your dna rna and subtle energy fields your light bodies and merkabas are working an extra gear to acclimate to this amount of light as you filter this light through your interconnected energy networks of the chambers of your hearts and direct this light into the planetary mother we see you working diligently in service to the all with such love and gratitude to you and our beloved earth family unfortunately on the higher planes there was a huge attack underway against our fleets at the mid 4d level many of you beloveds are tapping your energetic perceptional awareness into these attacks on our fleets and interpreting through your multi-dimensional 3 to 4d lenses however in terms of battles from our higher fifth dimensional perspective the lower astral 4d brothers and sisters are at war with us but we do not implement war upon them unfortunately they want us to fight them pull us into vibrational energy battles however we wouldn't be in the universal laws of oneness vibration frequencies of 5d love if we reverted to lower vibrational energies of war this is simply a game to them of vibrational control spinning a constant negative dualistic motif into the collective polarization so our fleet ships only deflect shield and round up lower 40 ships that attempt to fire their weapons upon us strategically fencing off aggressing lower 40 entities into a force field and light fields of higher light and remove them to particular higher interdimensional cities of light where our angelic family of light who specialize in soul healing can bring them back into universal oneness like we say our ships only shield and protect and deflect energy weapons we do not have weapons of sorts of on our light ships we do not shoot weapons at these lower 40 ships we deflect only and interface only this is not to say your earth ssp have weapons they have a form of weaponry and there are certain aspects or operations that are taking place right now in your lower earth orbit in the removal of negative 4d interference within the outer rim of the planet and its morphogenetic field as we understand how the lower astral energies are trying to break through the interface and thwart the earth's merkaba ascension rotation in your now slowing down the rotational spin corrupting the torus morphogenetic field or m field of the planetary mother and your individual m fields our fallen family continue to attempt to sabotage and thwart slowing down the ascension trajectory while you are in this critical stage of critical mass ascension they cannot stop ascension at a planetary soul level or solar system or galaxy sector however they can attempt to slow the momentum down as they have before in many other star systems when they attempt to slow down your planetary merkaba this acts as a ripple effect in the matrix temporal spatial reality affecting your coexistence in the oneness causing a stalling rift in the collective hive mind so to speak this in turn causes destructive irrational behavior separation fear doubt division and boundaries that alter 
ideologies within the collective, a disconnect from true source and higher light, a fear of self-projection presents itself with the human. Dear ones, you can clearly see this playing out in your political arena with many souls in an entanglement of expressing a form of political integrity with one another. This is division and fear with no signs of compromise from each party involved. This entanglement causes resistance within the collective. This is the energetic rift we speak of here. Our fallen brothers and sisters are constantly attempting to create this rift. So we in the higher realms continue in the mending of rifts and smoothing out your planetary merkaba and dimensional interface at the 4 to 5D level, implementing 7 to 8D angelic light into your planetary mother through the network grid systems of light grids and ley lines. We in the higher realms, along with our boots on the ground, our beloved anchors, conduits of light, that's you, beloveds, who are creating the rainbow bridges of light, clearing the distorted energies in the light grids of the planet, anchoring light and higher light codes down through your meridians and into the Earth's core as you are the first waivers. 144, the light bridge between the two realms. Your light is needed as we work through this quantum entanglement or deflection that has been implemented by the fallen ones to slow down your evolution and progression into ascension. We are all working full on to right the balance, unify the field for the higher ascension path, 7D ascension trajectory of the multidimensional new earth as the thinning of the veil of the lower dimensional alternate earth is falling away. Dear ones, the 7D light has to stabilize the morphogenetic field enough through this phase between the 4, 5, and 6D energy resurrection ascension fields to complete this natural earth cycle into a higher dimensional field. As we move through into the twelfth hour, many of you are understanding that the higher gateways and portals are opening to receive the higher photonic light. More than ever, and it is a crucial time in your planetary now, to stay in alignment with the heart space, building your columns of light in your areas of living, and if guided, to continue to activate nodes and light grids on the planet, sending your light to pockets of distortion within the planet to where it's needed. As you are a conductor of powerful anchor points, dear ones, as long as you stay in a high vibrational equilibrium, staying in your heart space and not involving yourself in the lower distorted energies, as is as it is a crucial time as we continue in forward motion of the golden age. So stay focused, stay vigilant, stay steadfast, and continue to stay building your columns of light from your heart, from your chalice. Remember, dear ones, we work together always, constantly weaving an interconnected web of light, working together in unity and unison and oneness at a multidimensional level at all times. Never forget that. We are one big family of light. And constantly we are in service to the all that is, all my peace and unconditional love, Commander Ashtar Kare. Please take what resonates, resonates and leave what does not. That is from beloved sister of the light, Rhea Aurora Athena Ash. And from Elizabeth Peru, dreams, meteor showers and going within. If you've noticed that you're literally speaking out loud in your dreams and connecting with souls that you can't ever recall meeting before, you are in the flow right now. So many of us are assisting one another on the soul planes. I've never seen quite so much effort required to help us all get over the 5D line in my almost 20 years of doing this work. Solar storms heading our way. Right now we're in the middle of the Orionids. Meteor shower, the debris from Halley's Comet. It's actually lifting the energy on Earth, and we're about to get another boost this week, too. There have been two large holes in the sun spewing out solar wind that looks like arriving on Earth this Thursday, Friday. Add to this, the Schumann resonance is back up around 21 hertz, causing our vibration to rise. The darkness lifts. The past two weeks have seen heavier energy blanket the globe. It's been a real challenge. So, so many have woken up because of it. And many seasoned spiritual seekers have been laying low. Have you? Are you questioning your path? So much energy has been stirred on Earth since June, and the entry of the new 5 Earth, or the new Earth 5D energy template 
It's a time that we've waited for and worked towards for thousands of years. And now it could be that you're questioning your own, your once known path, wondering about all the work that you've done to evolve. And this is from ElizabethPeru.com. And the code today from Gaia Portal, put your awareness in the heart center and let this resonate through your vessel and let go of the meaning. Just go with the feeling, go with the resonance, go with the vibration. The activation code for today, for the 2-1, the heirs of the higher dimensionals are cleared. Cleansing of all prehistoric occurs in the now moment. Abundance presents to all who recognize true values. Spellorifics present the guidance. Snowflakes decorate the horizons. Just let that resonate through your vessel, through your avatar. It is encoded with certain higher 5D frequencies. Now today, from the Mayan Keepers of Time, today's galactic signature is Kin 101101, Red Planetary Dragon, Lahun Imix. After mobilization of the solar tone of intention comes the perfection of the planetary tone of manifestation. Red Planetary Dragon guides and teaches us to transmit and receive unlimited powers of universal nourishment while resting in our primal being in order to achieve the perfection of manifestation. Perfection is something that we all should collectively strive to produce. Indeed, we all should actively participate in achieving the manifestation of perfection and give it all that we have. The manifestation process requires both unending effort and unconditional surrender. Red Planetary Dragon reminds us to take awe in the birth of each moment and to focus on self-nurturance and on, on accepting the limitless nurturance provided by the universal collective consciousness. Red Planetary Dragon also encourages us to trust, launch, and initiate the manifestation of perfection without becoming overly perfectionist, which is actually counterproductive. It is equally essential that we accept the inherent perfection of all that exists as it is with unwavering trust and unflinching faith in divine orchestration. The cauldron of creation is inviting us to acknowledge and accept that we are all in a process of becoming perfection. From the Zolkin Times, Red Planetary Dragon. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its key words are perfect, manifest, and produce. The 10th day of a wave spell is perfect for producing results. You can manifest what you need. It is a very helpful number, and whatever day it combines with, it creates improvement. Today is Red Dragon, which represents nurturing, being, and birth. The dragon is a symbol of Mother Earth, and caves where dragons dwell are the mother's womb. And this is why dragons are associated with rebirth and nurturing. When combined with the planetary tone or number, we have a day that is perfect for rebirth, a perfect day to manifest much-needed nurturing. So take care of yourself and others. Expect new beginnings and opportunities and be confident that you can manifest what you need to facilitate all these things. The guide today is the red moon, and the moon is a powerful influence that leaves us with no option other than to go with the flow. When the red moon guides, it is inviting us to relax, let go, and trust the universe as things are unfolding at their own pace. And there is nothing you can do to hurry the process up. You are granted permission today to chill out. And from Christina Papagiorgio, Red Planetary Dragon, Kin 101, Be, be Earthing a New Earth, New Beginnings, 21 for October 21, the Crown of Magi number symbolizes victory after a long initiation and a series of challenges. 21 October 2019, 21-10-20-10 equals 3-10-3, or 3-13, Divine Manifestation. The 5 equals freedom, liberation, change. 3 is the Holy Trinity, joy, creativity, and union. Kin 101, 22, partnership, cooperation, duality. Kin 101 plus manifestation, tone 10 equals manifestation, class 101. One is new beginnings and leaderships, a day to hone your divine manifestation muscle and birth your new creations. 
Day 10 in the Yellow Human Wave Spell of Wisdom, Influence, Intelligence, Free Will, and Abundance. Today we manifest wise choices that influence us to take responsibility for the purity of nurturing our bodies and caring for others. We can also use our free will and intelligence to birth our new ideas and manifest personal and planetary abundance. The tone of creation, planetary, tone 10 in the physical realm, action, produces power, perfects essence, manifestation. The tenth stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality and our lives begin to reflect the deep soul longings that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with spirit today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia, as we are all one heart. And today from the Dream Spell Journey by Volum Votan and Balonik, Manifesting Spiritual Being, Zolkin, Column 6. Today's Kin 101, 101 Planetary Dragon opens the sixth column of the Dream Spell Zolkin. Therefore, its frequency influences the next 19 Kin from Kin 102 until Kin 120. A key aspect of the Kin 101 is the manifestation and perfection of spiritual being. 21 October 2019, NS 1.32.4.4, The Divine 44. Kin 101, Red Planetary Dragon. The code and the mantra for today, I perfect in order to nurture, producing being. I seal the input of birth with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of universal water, the divine feminine. Harmonic 26, cosmic input, inform, flowering of presence. So another powerful day on this dream spell journey, this dream within a dream. So let us know in the comments below, the 733-733 just came through, heaven on earth of the sacred 33. So let us know in the comments below what you experienced today, any manifestations that you have witnessed on this most auspicious day of the sacred day of fall. As we transition from the yang energies of the divine masculine into the energies of the yin of the winter, the winter solstice of the divine feminine goddess, the 1221, of the sun being still, the stillness of soul, as all becomes still through this manifestation creating sacred space, the sacred void to manifest our true heart's delight, our true heart's desire into the field, into the void as we live from our sacred heart center being connected to all things in all realms, all timelines, all dimensions, merging all together in the sacred now of this divine witness here in this heart center. So thank you all for joining me today. Thank you for shining your light brightly into the night, star seeds of the light. Thank you all that have joined us on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador. Many, many people have come together, have contacted me, and have joined on this mission to raise funds for this holy center and sustainable community, the sacred blueprint of healing retreats that will manifest on the new earth through this realm for all beings, to assist all beings on this healing path of divine alchemy. And if you want to join us on this mission of ra to raise funds, we're using a CBD business. You can join us at cbdpeaceoil.com. If you want to learn more about this mission, you can go to our website, primedisclosure.com, and click Dow Day Ecuador Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community at the top of the page. And we'll put links in the description below for more information. So have a beautiful and blessed day. Keep walking your divine path with heart, beloved being of light. I love you all. Namaste.